Welcome back to WNST, Towson, Baltimore, and Baltimore positive. We're positively uh, winding into football season. Luke's out in Owings Mills, and of course, we're getting the Maryland Crab Cake Tour together. I will be on Friday at Gunpowder Lodge, be joined uh, by uh, Brooke Learman, who's running for controller. If you missed the show last week down at Fadley's, we were joined by Barry Glass, which we're talking some politics around here, but uh, tis the season of fall and getting people together and raising funds for the right causes. We got a thing going on above and beyond football here on Sunday over at UMBC, and uh, you know, I've had Michelle Jackman uh, my life or friend on many, many times talking about the National Kidney Foundation and our involvement with Sante for many, many years. This is Kidney Walk going on this weekend. It is Sunday at 9 a.m. over at Old Hilltop Circle just off I-95. Conveniently located. We're going to order great weather as well. And I love telling these inspirational stories. And we talk about the giving and the 12 days of giving. I find an old blog from Tisha Guthrie who is uh, with us and here to inspire us today and tell us why we got to get out, get some fresh air and help people much like you that found themselves in a really uh, a horrible circumstance but uh, have made it through to be inspiration and uh, at, at some point some perspiration here although I hope I, nobody sweats during the walk I hope it's a nice day at how are you Tisha I am doing wonderfully how are you I'm excellent excellent I I've read your story uh, online you know I've got Google and they send me notes and whatnot but uh, give your story uh, for our audience and why things like we hear, oh, there's a kidney walk. We go out and support. Uh, I think everyone in our lives has known someone um, who is has been in need of uh, a certain. Uh, certainly, my wife needed two transplants, but but your story very very compelling when I read it. Oh yes, thank you for inviting me and thank you for um, asking to hear about my story. So yeah, in um, 2004, I was experiencing some really severe symptoms, a lot of lethargy. Um, you know, retaining fluid, just didn't know what was going on. And I found out that I had chronic kidney disease. And at that point, I was actually um, headed toward end-stage renal failure. So I started seeing a nephrologist and things just kind of spiraled downward really, really quickly, where I was uh, in 2005 on dialysis. You need your kidneys, right? Like when you say it spirals quickly, it yeah. really, you know, this isn't, this is urgent when it happens. Absolutely. Um, by the time you start having those kind of symptoms, um, you know, you're really, really at a point where you need immediate treatment. Um, so I, I, I knew my pr practitioners pretty much knew where I was headed. Um, they started me on medications to try and stave off some of the really bad symptoms, but um, I went ahead and I had my operation to have a port and was on dialysis in 2005. And at the same time, I was talking to family members and kind of sharing my story with them and uh, kind of flashing forward, my, both of my parents were ideal candidates for transplantation, for organ donation. So um, we had a discussion and my dad decided he was going to be the one to donate a kidney. And so in 2006, February 28th of 2006, my dad and I were at Hopkins. Um, my mom was in the, um, in the waiting room and he gave me the second gift, gift of life, so. That's, That's a kind beautiful of a story. story. Yeah, it's, that it's should be awesome. shared with everyone. Absolutely, Tisha Guthrie here. Uh, well, the, the walk is Sunday, and you know certainly um, Dick Cass, who was um, uh, the Ravens president, has been on my show. I, I, I just I've known of other uh, survivors and donators uh, to this, and and it's just uh, it's an amazing story to tell we all cry we all stand up but i the, the time in the hospital and the the battle and and being a part of this and for other people who are out there who are in need right who don't have a dad that they can go in the other room and say please save me that they need a stranger maybe from somewhere around the world like my wife did on uh, with leukemia um kidney walk you've been participating with this uh, you, you go out and do a little uh, stroll around on sunday oh yes so i've been i've been participating in kidney walk since 2007 um but one thing people should know is that this is our 20th kidney walk maryland kidney walk so um, it's a real milestone. It's a real opportunity to come out and 
to share with the community, you know, just the, the celebration. It's, it takes a lot to put on these walks and it takes the community to come out and support. There are over 37 million people in this country living with kidney disease and many, I mean, more, more people who are um, diagnosed with kidney disease, more people are living with it and are undiagnosed. So what the Kidney Foundation does around education, around community outreach and supporting people who are actually living and thriving with kidney disease is so important. So we need people to come out and support, you know, physically, but also monetarily. Well, no doubt about it. I'm going to give everybody the, uh, the website. Uh, you can find them at kidneywalk.org. Uh, it's forward slash Maryland. Very easy. Just Google it up. Uh, the National Kidney Foundation, NKF, as uh, Michelle Jackman would always say to me. Uh, and it's this Sunday, the 23rd. You know, usually I do these things a couple weeks out. Tish and I have misconnected a couple times. But this, because we're so close to this right now, I got a weather report, okay? So weather says to me Sunday, not just for the Ravens game uh, against the Browns, 69 degrees on Sunday. So I'm figuring like low to mid fifties, little windbreaker, going to be a nice little morning brisk. Tell everybody what the kidney walks all about and what happens on that day. Is there food? Are there donuts? Are there snacks? I need snacks. Of course. So we have snacks. We also have food trucks. Um, there's great music. My crew, the no drama crew, we do a wonderful warm up and afterward. We whoa, 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 what's a no drama? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't just drop no drama crew. What is that? <laughs> and warm ups. What, what do I have to do to be in that club? I want to be in that club. Believe me. <laughs> oh, gosh. So that is our um, our team. We're called we're team no drama crew. Um, we're fitness professionals. All of us teach Zumba. And they're my crew who support me every year. We come out and we support the National Kidney Foundation serving Maryland and, De and Delaware. So, um, look, man, I'm Venezuelan. So, you know, my <laughs> hips don't lie. Can, can I do that's, Zumba? That's right. <laughs> can I do Zumba? Of course. Everyone I, see, can... I have friends that do Zumba, and I'm like, so I'm I'm a hot yoga person and I have like a little L4, L5 issue when, you know, my next appointment today is with the neurosurgeon. So but but I'm you know, I do hot yoga and I'm very, you know, mm -hmm. Planet Fitness is a big part of my life here as well as one of our sponsors. But Zumba feels like I did just structured. You know what I mean? Like I'm a hot yeah. yoga guy. I get down on the mat. I'm 54 and I'm relatively fit. I'm I'm playing well, weight right now. But but Zumba feels like. Like school, like aggressive, like, Zumba you know, like is, aggressive. Zumba is all about moving in the way your body wants to move. You've already got the hot, that. You got the hot yoga, right? You've already got the first part, the hot part. So you just got to move those hips. That's all. The hips don't lie. I mean, you know, right, come on. exactly. A little and early in the morning for that, but we get me moving here. Tisha Guthrie's here. Uh, she is a survivor and an inspirer. So you're real life. You, you're a fitness instructor. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm a fitness instructor. I'm a personal trainer. Um, I'm also a social worker and a community activist. So I wear many hats. Um, you know, those community leaders, you got to watch out for them. They get things done, right? You better believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell everybody why they're going to come out again here this weekend, and the fun they're going to have. Uh, it's Sunday morning. It's the 20th annual. It's important. Uh, did we have these during COVID or did things, because Sante indoor things got shut down and things went virtual. Did, did, did this happen the last two years? You know, great point. The last two years we were virtual and we were encouraging people to use social media to um, post where they were walking. Um, and people did a great job. They really had some fun with it, but there is nothing like being in community with you know, your, your dialysis patients, with your kidney transplant recipients, with people who are you know, really doing their, their due diligence to manage their, their disease. And you know, we're just so glad to be back in person at the UMBC campus, so.
Well, I appreciate you, Tish, and uh, stay safe and healthy and keep inspiring people, uh, keep them going. Uh, the National Kidney Foundation and the Kidney Walk, uh, it is Sunday, the 23rd, 9 a.m. You can even do it before you go to the Ravens game. You're going to the Ravens game. Uh, make sure you're keeping them in mind out there and find them out at kidneywalk.org forward slash Maryland. Appreciate the time. I am Nestor. We're going to be keeping it going around here. Luke Jones is out in Owings Mills doing all things Ravens, getting you ready for the Cleveland Browns. And then the short week with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady. I'll be doing the Maryland Crab Cake Tour at Gunpowder Lodge up in uh, Kingsville. It's sort of North Perry Hall, the way my mind works around it now that I you know, lived up there for a decade. But uh, it'll be great to be up there. Uh, some delicious lobster rolls, apparently, on the menu as well as my Crab Cake Tour. We are WNST, AM 1570, Towson, Baltimore. And we never stop talking Baltimore positive.